Okay, uh, before I commence uh, section or step three of this uh, quick setup guide here, uh, I just wanted to mention one thing that I uh, did not show at the end of uh, section two after you bind your receiver, basically where you're gonna be plugging it in. On the multi wii board here, on the multi wii you can see that this uh, patch cable basically that comes off of here is gonna have this little uh, adapter here, which receives um, the satellite spectrum satellite receiver cable. So it's just going to basically plug into that. And you're going to want to push this back up in here somewhere where it's uh, safe and out of the way and not obstructing anything or getting in the way or may get struck by a prop or rot anything rotating. Uh, anyways, all right. Uh, let's see. Now for step three or section three, uh, I like to call this section remove the props. For safety reasons, uh, obviously you're going to want to remove the props until you have a really firm grasp of uh, how everything is functioning here and working. Uh, the reason being is no matter where your throttle is with the way this uh, stuff currently is set up, once the props begin moving and everything is initialized and uh, everything is armed and the props are rotating, they will not shut off without toggling the gear channel. So if you don't have a proper setup in the radio that we uh, like what we kind of had previously just quickly outlined, there's no way to turn this off other than interrupting power, um, unplugging your connector from the from the battery. Uh, so it's really critical, um, especially for testing, until you really have a good idea of how this stuff works. Um, you want to have the props off for safety reasons, obviously. And again, this, this is just a quick walkthrough, um, a quick reference guide, so to speak. This is not by no means is to an instruction manual or um, the amount of research you should do online to make sure that you fully understand the equipment you're working with, the, uh, the hardware and the software or firmware, so to speak. Uh, you want a firm understanding of this stuff because uh, if not, it, you know, a, a, your setup may not be correct and you know, it would not be safe. But to start with, number one, have your props off. Uh, all right, let's see, let's go ahead and begin this. Um, basically, what we're gonna be covering here is the motor rotation, make sure your motors are rotating in the correct uh, direction and a quick understanding of how the firmware functions, just a quick overview uh, to help get you in the air quickly. Um, like I said, this should just jog your memory if you've uh, fully read all the manuals. Um, okay, let's power on the radio. Uh, we're gonna power up the multi-rotor. Bear with me here for a second. Okay. All right. Everything's powered up. Um, as I had said previously um, in previous setup, and you can, it's always good to go back in and double verify because remember the way the firmware works on this multi Wii board is, and the way that also the firmware and the speed controllers work that in conjunction when we use together, once the motors begin switch, we begin running, there's no way to turn the motors off without toggling the gear channel. Now, as we showed previously in the setup, that happens, we sent that to our throttle hold switch on this DX8 radio to toggle the gear channel. And I'm just verifying it one more time before we even get these motors spinning. Gear channel toggles as I toggle the switch. Okay, so when it's at the positive 100% value, that's gonna be the position that you're actually gonna have the motors running, uh, much like a collective pitch helicopter. So when you're running this, your throttle hold to have it uh, disengage is basically the position of the switch is away, away. That's where you're flying it at. When you want to turn the motors off, you would be pulling the switch to the negative 100 value, which would be towards you. All right, so we'll toggle that away and get back out of that. And, okay, so the way that this stuff works basically is, let's, uh, you're gonna check the rotation of the motors, but the way that this, I also want to explain at the same time is how this firmware works is, for the arming sequence basically is there is no left rudder or aileron or any input on the radio other than the pure throttle. Once you advance throttle, the motors will begin spinning. Um, if you advance it just a little bit, nothing happens. What happens is once you get up into just below center stick, the motors are going to come on the first time. And once they are um, armed and running, they'll be running first in reverse um, with you know the props in a reverse fashion. Once you pass center stick, 50% throttle here, center stick, 
50 in, 50 out if you're used to collect a pitch helicopters or zero pitch. The motors will then switch to forward running, just like the, a standard multi-rotor. The props would then be running in the normal, normal fashion, um, forward rotation, let's call it, or uh, positive pitch. Um, and you can watch. Basically what's going to happen here, I'm going to advance the throttle and they're going to come on pretty soon here and they're going to be going in reverse and you'll hear them switch over to forward. All right, that's reverse. Let's hear them switch forward through center stick. Boom. Right there. Forward. Reverse. Forward. You can kind of hear the motors ring a little as they switch. Okay. Fortunately, we have the propellers off and I can show this. Look, if you're like, oh, I want to shut the motors down. Giving negative does nothing but add full negative, <laughs> full, full power to the motors, but in a reverse fashion. And full forward goes full forward. So the only way to kill the motors, as previously noted, is toggling the gear channel, which is sent to our throttle hold switch. As I toggle this switch, you're going to hear them cut. Boom. Motors are off. Uh, come back out. And switch again. You're going to toggle them off. Basically, what I usually do is anytime I toggle a switch, I cycle the throttle all the way down. And then you can come back off, and the motors will be off. Again, you can then begin the arming sequence by... Um, following with the motors coming as you follow throttle stick up boom the motors will come on negative first and then and then positive positive meaning normal rotation just to verify correct rotation on the motors real quick i like to take a little zip tie and this motor up here rotating in the correct fashion it may be hard to see on the video bear with me yep this is with the motors in normal positive stick above center stick and you can see that this one is rotating in its correct fashion clockwise counterclockwise here back left motor will be rotating counterclockwise and this one will be rotating back right motor will be rotating clockwise okay and obviously, if I were to reverse the stick, the motors will reverse, and they would all be running the opposite of what you just previously saw. Toggle it, and that's it. So that basically uh, covers, concludes the basic uh, quick run rundown of this stuff and how it's kind of functioning and working. And uh, kind of like a quick start guide, so to speak, and. Uh, you can use this to uh, get you in the air quickly, but by no means is this to uh, represent a f the reading of the full manuals for the uh, hardware used or shown herein, uh, or the firmwares that are used. So uh, make sure you have a full understanding of that stuff, and then uh, you can peruse through this and look through this and uh, kind of help get you in the air quickly and you're ready to have a good time. It's a great, fun machine. Just be really careful in the beginning. Please have the props off in the beginning for testing once a once you're comfortable with how everything is working, everything is functioning correctly, uh, you can go ahead and put the props on and uh, take it out and have a great time. All right.